So you're wanting to get into MoCo, but you don't know which rig is right for you? Don't worry, I got you. So unfortunately, as with most things in life, there's no one size fits all. And all of the rigs that we're gonna talk about today are just tools that are meant to solve specific problems. Does that mean they can't be used for different purposes? Of course not. All of the rigs we're gonna talk about today do share some similarities, but it's important that you understand their differences so that you can make the most informed decision about which rig is right for you or your project. Now for the fun part, specs. Up first, we have the Cinebot Mini. This is a very compact and lightweight option. Logistics wise, the Cinebot Mini wins, which makes a lot of sense because the intended use case is for on location shoots and it's designed with smaller crews in mind. Recommended crew size for all rigs is typically two, but you can definitely get away with just one in many cases with the Cinebot Mini. Uh, you may just want to plan for an extra set of hands to help with setup and teardown. Next up, we have the Cinebot Max with extra reach and payload. The Max and Mini both come with PushMoco technology, which allows you to get your hands on the camera and physically position it wherever you want in order to store keyframes. Uh, or you can record this handheld movement uh, live and then play it back using Mimic. Mimic is a tool that is used to get the robot to copy very specific movement data as precisely as possible. Okay, I just wanted to show you guys how this works real quick. We got a little setup here uh, with the Mini and I'm just gonna show you how Mimic works. Okay, so I have all of the axes in learn, which means they're going to record whatever movement I do next. I'll go ahead and put the robot into push moco mode by pushing this button, and now it moves wherever I say. And uh, next, I can just hit this start record button, and wherever I move the camera, it will start recording. I can hit stop. We got a green check mark. So now I can hit shoot and the robot will do exactly the handheld motion that we just created. Um, and before you ask, I broke this camera in Hawaii, so it's, uh, it's dead. But that's a story for another day. <laughs> the Cinebot Mini and Max were designed with entry-level simplicity in mind, and they are meant for portability and ease of use. This does not mean that you should underestimate them. They are very powerful, and you can get some extremely creative and unique shots. Uh, one of my favorite things about them is that you don't necessarily, in many cases, need to switch to side mount in order to get shots where, say, you start over top and kind of orbit down like this. Traditionally, you would need to switch to side mount to use the roll axis to tilt the camera. Uh, but because of the shape of the arms, you can actually get away with it in many cases just staying in top mount. And this can save a lot of time. It doesn't stop there either. The Mini and Max can both run on battery for up to 10 hours. So now you can have quiet, reliable motion control pretty much anywhere and everywhere. Now onto the Bolt Cinebot range. Up first, we have the small but mighty Bolt Junior Plus. One of the best parts about the Bolt Junior Plus is that you can run on standard single phase power found in any house or building. This means you can have high speed in some harder to reach areas without the need of a noisy generator. The Bolt Junior Plus is ideal for working in small studio spaces. At half the weight of the Bolt, the Bolt Junior Plus is a portable motion control option that can be set up and ready for action in around an hour, making it an obvious choice for on location. And it can fit through a standard 32 inch doorway. The Bolt is the OG high speed rig and is still the reigning champion of best bang for your buck. Uh, if you have a wide variety of clients and shooting needs, you can't go wrong with the Bolt. Uh, from commercials to film to television, the Bolt brings new perspective and energy to your shots. Bolt X, the ultimate high-speed robot. Definitely the most impressive looking rig in the lineup. If you really want to wow your clients and get some wild looking blazing fast shots from all kinds of crazy angles, the Bolt X is the perfect rig for you. With a reach of 3.2 meters, the Bolt X allows for greater flexibility in capturing shots at high speed, in studio and on location. Now, I'm not gonna say that we saved the best for last, but this next rig has been engineered from the ground up with camera motion control in mind, the Super Milo. The precision and macro shooting capability is unmatched. Its flexibility for camera moves and accuracy make it great for macro, live action, and VFX motion control techniques. The Super Milo sits at the top of the pyramid of motion control bots. This rig is truly a work of art and will serve you well on pretty much any project for many, many years to come. Well, that is it for today, friends. I hope you enjoy learning about some of the larger rigs that MRMC has available. Uh, please feel free to reach out to MRMC directly if you have any specific questions or leave a comment down below and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.
fun part. Specs. Specs. Sp specs. <laughs> you get it? Like spectacles?